A harsh and unforgiving land where every decision matters and death comes easily to the unprepared, you say? But enough about 2019, oh, Brad. Man, this got too real too fast. Uh, Grifflands is early access on the Epic Store. I literally started to say on Steam. Yeah. I had to stop myself. That was actual muscle memory. <laughs> it's a PC game, Brad. It it's has on, to be on Steam. It's on the Epic Store in early access. It's 15 bucks. They claim that at any time we can hit F8 to send them feedback. Okay. Can you do it now? Well... Okay. Who are you? Truth and advertising. I like their scale at the bottom. <laughs> it's like the pain scale, but for video games. Wow, that is a really happy um, bug-eyed stalk thing. What Brad, uh, is, is this thing? <laughs> I want. I'm going to clip that out as an avatar. I don't want to ru ruin the uh, get ahead of those things, but how, wh where would you where would you click on that scale right now? Uh, probably like a. Four out of five? Okay. It seems pretty cool. It seems pretty cool oh, so what's far. What's up with that guy's mouth? I don't know. Is it, yeah, is that like flesh yeah, stretched over? Yeah, he looks like life stealer. Is that like <laughs> somebody like, carved a hole into his cheek? He's got some two face so going you can on. See some extra teeth there? Yeah. Oh, man, this the game's cool. I'm going to hop right in here. This is from Clay. Clay, makers of, let's see, Shank. Shank. And, uh, uh, enter the Nin. Oh, uh, Mark of the Ninja. Mark of the That's Ninja. a fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, Don't Starve, probably their biggest oh, game. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oxygen Not Included, I think, is another early access game they have going right now. Uh, this is a card game. It's a deck building combat. Have you played Slay the Spire? Yeah. Like that, but very complicated. Great. Um, I just died on it. I just ended my first run. Okay. Um, it's got a little bit of the Into the Breach thing of like, well, you died, but you can take a piece of your legacy with you. Um... So I, that's probably randomized, like everything seems to be randomized. In this case, um, it let me either keep one of the upgraded cards I had or maintain one of the character relationships that I had built. Oh, interesting. So there's a lot of talking to people and there's a scale only. So this is the beginning of a new run, basically. Okay. Uh, I'm Sal, this bounty hunter. There's, it looks like there's gonna be three characters in the final game, uh, but there's only the one character in right now. Um, it seems a lot more like narrative driven than Slay the Spire. Yeah. And also, I apologize if there are a bunch of other games just like this, because that's the only one I've played. Yeah, there's uh, SteamWorld. Yes, yeah, so SteamWorld Quest, Quest, which I still, like the other one I still need, need to get to. Um, it's got the uh, it's got the pyre thing of having like hyperlinked. Oh, good. Yeah. Kind of uh, like places and people and stuff, annotations, which is cool. This is my, this is my buddy. Fsh. 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 Um, all right, so I got a starting bonus here. What do we got? It's like a healing card. Draft two battle, okay, so like two extra combat cards. Add a combat graft slot. I didn't even come close to filling my graft slots on the last one, so I'm gonna skip that. I got fucked up at the end of my last run, so I'm gonna take the healing stuff. It's in the bounty hunted you? Yeah, yes. Yes, my bounty <laughs> bountied me, let's say. Um, you can ask about stuff, but let's uh, let's just get a move on here. So I'm a bounty hunter. I've been freed from servitude, and I think my first target is the person who sold me into slavery. Great. I um, love when that works out like yeah, that. Yeah, so it's quest-based. Okay, so this is randomized. These are different characters than I got pointed at last time. Um, yep. Okay. So here's the world map. These are the three quests that... It's pretty. Yeah, it's a nice looking gal. I always like Clay's style. Yeah. I like that they have a very consistent visual style across their games. Yes. Um, okay, so... All right, this is just like last time. Oh, no, it's not, actually. I was going to say, so you see focus? Yes. So last time I had one quest was focused on combat and the other on negotiation, and then the third on both. Here, we've only got negotiation and both. Um... Gosh, what do I want to do? Negotiation is hard in this game. <laughs> You're telling me. Combat, <laughs> combat, <laughs> killing people, not a problem. <laughs> Convincing them of your position, <laughs> very difficult. Uh, am I bold enough to go straight to the both? Let's give it a shot. Yeah. It'd be cool to show off both I'd things. love to see. Um, I need tips on combat and negotiation. Yeah, all right, well, hopefully I can help you out here. So it's very uh, kind of this based. Like, it's a lot of, like, 
stepping into taverns and warehouses and stuff and having like being confronted with a bunch of people. Um, and they have different roles, like, so this person is a guard here, this person is the proprietor, which usually means they will have stuff to sell you. Uh, well, in this case, this is the person who has the quest for me, but typically I think the proprietor will sell you stuff. Okay. Bon is the character who I did a mission for in uh, the last run, and that was where I chose, like, okay, I, I became, actually, sorry, there's a lot in this game. Yeah. Uh, I became loved by Bon in the last run. Okay. Which, which unlocked Bon's boon. <laughs> okay, you get a little discount there. Love when Bon's boon works out like Gee, that. Who, oh, who hates you? Uh, only Cassio, which is my target. Okay. Cassio is the, the the bounty that I'm pursuing. I guess she's sort of like the first boss of the, the of a run or something Got like it. that. Uh, so th this will fill out quickly as you talk to people and do quests and stuff. Also, I just really like the little animation on everybody <laughs> as you... And, and like it'll... Sometimes she'll clap, and maybe not this time, but a lot of character. Yeah. Um, so you got your relationships, and your graphs are just sort of like kind of buffs, you know, like sure. modifiers Mods. that you get uh, out of quests and stuff. So, all right, let's go straight to this quest. Um, okay. That's a sushu. Tukusishoa. Titonsal. Money is called shills. Okay. I like their fake language. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Man, all right. Chewbacca looking asshole. Yeah, it's a well spoken Wookiee. Yeah, he's not messing around. Um, I don't know how much we'll see of it in this run, but the last quest I did on my first run was full of decision points, like really profoundly different decisions. Um. Do, do you oh feel gosh. like those are the things that lead to people liking you or not liking yeah, you? Yeah, dude, there are, I was like, I was literally overwhelmed by the number of ways that my choices seem to be manifesting. Interesting. Um, everything from, like, I won enough combat encounters that I started gaining a reputation for violence, which gave me, like, more, better combat cards. But then there was another point where I had made somebody dislike me, and that caused a completely different character that I was fighting later on to have a buff. Oh, because their friend hated me, yeah, and stuff. Like huh. it, it seems like it's a really elaborate web of like consequences that start piling up. But then none of that stuff carries over. Well, like so, like I've got that bond relationship. Like yeah. that, if she is friends with somebody, that might affect something. But but only only whatever you like manually carry over. It seems yeah. like okay, um, like card upgrades and stuff like that will carry over. Uh, okay, so ooh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I should probably take that. Uh, see, I'm still trying to figure out, like, if you hover over... I mean, it does the Slay the Spire thing of having a lot of nice tool tips. You know, it's like, oh, what does piercing do? There, right. There it is. Um, but I'm not sure, like, what it, what is a hostility card versus an attack card? Oh, I guess hostility. That's a negotiation. Okay. Sorry. There's a lot. There's a lot in this game. Let's take this. Uh, so I could, right on the spot, I could challenge this guy to pay me more money for this job. I could, do you want me to... What do you, yeah. You make the call. Make, yeah, you're worth it. Okay, res resolve is your sort of arguing health. Okay. You, you've got health, health, and then resolve, which is your health in uh, negotiations. <laughs> and he's only got 10, so we've got a pretty good shot at beating him. Uh, except that both health and resolve don't heal automatically. Like, uh -oh. it's it's kind of like a Slay the Spire situation. Of oh like, my oh, god. Yeah. It's like you might you might get buffs or you might have a random event that heals some of that for you, but you can't just expect it. But you're to not get just back. gonna like rest at the end. Yeah, and... like so like losing resolve to this guy, even though he's pretty minor in the grand scheme, is still like not great. Um, you can run out of resolve and not end your run though, it just means you can't uh, You can't negotiate. Yeah, you anymore. can't uh, initiate negotiations anymore. You can only fight from that point. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I've mostly figured this out. So this is his main resolve. This is his core argument that I'm trying to wear down. Right. Uh, this is his personality is, I don't want to pay you more, you motherfucker. Yeah, so let's see. For him, drunk cards cost one less. Uh, these are like bonus sort of objectives with their own health. Like if I attack this, oh, that, that's get. even more money that I can argue him uh, into giving me. I believe this, uh, yeah, this is what he'll do next turn. Uh, he is, oh, wow, okay. He started off flustered, so he's going to do less damage to me. Let's just start shouting at him, I guess. Yeah. Um, 
expires at the end of the turn. Sure, that's probably a good thing to do. Yeah, let's, okay, so let's double the, our damage. Wow, Ooh. wow, man, that was garbage. All right, well. I mean, you did just agree. He was like, you were all friendly, and then you went right into a th threatening violence. Yeah, that's true. But it doubled, it doubled literally the low end of, yeah. the, of the damage range on that thing. That's that's crap. But whatever. Okay, so he's adding more stuff. Uh, huh. Okay. Well, let's try to take this guy out fast, I guess. Um, so composure is is your block, basically, in arguments. Um, inspiration. God, there's so much, man. Wait, go back over. Oh, I see. It shows the inspiration. Yeah. So, so those, those two cards on the right, yeah, I'll get one of those cards. Yeah. Okay. Or I, I think I get to pick, actually. So, hostility, additional one damage per turn. I don't have much in the way of attack on this turn, so I might have to. Well, let's go for this. This is just straight up give me a. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, he's already flustered. Um. Play an argument with two resolve and bait him. I see what you were saying about this game being a little complicated. It's a lot, man. Like, with, if these tooltips weren't in place, this would be basically unplayable. Yeah. Uh, and it does. It has a very quick, like, inline tutorial the first time you play, but it's not very deep. Uh, I assume that will get better as early access continues. Baited arguments must be targeted. Okay, so this is cool. I've used this one before. That. Uh, so, if I gossip. So that creates a second argument. So that so he has to attack this oh. kind of ancillary argument before he goes after my core. And while that's happening, uh, actually, let's use one of these. Let's take dominance, which will get me an extra damage. So let's go ahead and play that. And then, if we get lucky on the roll, we might just take him out. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Get convinced! Okay. Um, so I've beaten him in verbal combat, and now I can pick a card? How about... Um... That one. Or you can skip, you can always, it seems like you can always skip card selection and just take some extra money instead. Uh, okay, well now I will get more money out of doing this job, which is cool. Uh, and now we can go do it. Okay, so that was just the kind of prelude to the actual Yeah, that, that was optional, obviously. I could have just taken the initial payment and moved on. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Like, you're moving across that map to your actual objectives, and occasionally you will hit a sort of random encounter like this. And I almost made it, and then hit this. Uh, Spark Baron, firing off a group of... What? Fleets. Murder Bay. <laughs> Technocratic Faction Retro... Huh. Okay. The cult worships uh, a giant jellyfish god. Who doesn't? Named Hesh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, like every one of these types of encounters I've had has always been like two or three different options here of like you can jump into the fight, you can hang back and see what happens. Um, I haven't... Hmm. Man, I kind of want to wait and see what happens, but also she's really good in combat. She might join me. Let's hop in here. Let's fight. Yeah, you got plenty of health. Yeah. And these guys are one star and she's two star. You plus, shit out of these bugs. Plus, I, I wasn't sure that we'd get a chance to get a party member because they're very temporary, so I wanted to do that. Let's see. Oh, she's low. Yeah, so I'm going to get a lot of damage here. So the, uh, the actual combat combat in this game is a lot more straightforward, like Slay the Spire-ish kind of stuff. Right. Like, I was much more... <laughs> easily able to just jump right into this and pretty much know what I'm doing. Um, so, let's see, she's going to... Status effect, these guys are both attacking me. All right. I don't think I can kill any of them in one turn. How about I'll use one defense? Yeah, get a little shields going. Yeah. Um, and just attack, I guess. 
You said there were three characters, right? Yeah, but like I said, the, this bounty hunter, Sal, is the only one, the that, only actu one. actually in the game right okay. now. Okay. The other two you just straight up say, like, coming later in early access. Got it. Whatever, so. I wonder if those will be, like, Slay the Spire characters where it kind of dictates the style of deck Yeah, like, she, she is described as a bounty hunter with specific, yeah, so I, I would imagine the other two will be very different. So you've got your action points, you know, draw, yeah. your draw pile, your discard pile, very straightforward type stuff. Yikes. Okay. Uh, man, that guy's got a lot of block. That's a bummer. Let's... Uh, also, I'm about to eat 10 damage. Let's fight dirty. Draw a card, discard a card, expend one power. Draw two cards, that's not super useful. Man. Not great, I feel. Okay, that's cool. Let's, um... Uh, well, whatever, it's a quick look, let's just go. <laughs> Not worry too much about my long-term prospects. Uh, this is another one of those, like, kind of pick a card. I'm going to take this one and bleed this guy. Seems to be a lot of that improvising. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, and, like, an improvised card can sometimes have extra effects on it. Or, Do like, you... There will be, there'll be cards, like, if you improvise this card, it has no energy cost. You can okay. just use it for free. Yeah, I was going to ask, where do you have, like, a pool of improvised, like, do you know the pool that you're pulling from of improvised cards? Uh, I'm not sure if it lets you see that or not. Okay. Um, also, I, yeah, I don't have that card this time, it looks like. Yeah, last run I had a card that straight up said, like, this is a one energy cost card unless you improvise it, in which case it's zero. Right. So there's stuff like that going on. And so you're uh, getting more cards kind of as you play, as you do these quests. Yeah, so uh, the little pips under stab here, like every time I play this card, one of those will light up. Uh -huh. And then once I fill that bar, I can upgrade this card. So it's kind of cool instead of like, depending on luck of the draw, like random events to upgrade your cards. Just, just using them allows you to like steadily work toward a better deck. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay. It rewards you to kind of play the way you want to play. Right. Yeah, like the more you use cards, the better they get. Uh, geez, did I... Okay. Well, man. Seems like a bad turn to it. These rough. Yeah, let's try to improvise again. Okay. Attack damage reduced by a third. Bonus damage. Uh, let's use that on this dude. Uh, that helps me quite a bit. Okay. Oh, he's got so much block. Okay. <laughs> Later. Um... It seems like I think just about every type of enemy I've fought has had a chance to retreat like that when they get low. Um, let's see, what am I going to do here? Are, the, you, are you missing out on not killing them? Um, I don't know. Okay. So the human enemies will go into a panic state. Uh, I think your allies can also do the same. Basically, oh, oh okay, okay, I know what it is. So, so like animal enemies, like non-reasonable things you can't reason with. When they get down into the white, it looks like if you don't finish them off quickly, they'll run away. Humans, when they get down into the white, will go into panic, which means that you have a chance to execute them for free and just kill them, or you can actually spare them. Okay. Which will leave them in your game, like, in those narrative scenes as a factor. Like, they still hang around and they huh. still have a relationship with you. Interesting. But you get a lot more rewards if you kill them off. Right. But then that's how you start kind of, like, getting a, a reputation for violence and stuff like that, so... Uh, okay, let me just pound through the rest this of this. This seems really cool. It's super cool. Like, it's there's a lot going on. Yeah. It's really just a lot of overlapping mechanics that really feed into each other in a lot of interesting ways. Uh, so don't need that. Well, sh let's see. I guess I could probably bleed this guy. All right, bye. Later. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, oh, that's cool. Random, common, or uncommon. So yeah, I guess this is coming out of just a bigger pool than what I've got. Target has bleed. Ooh, that's pretty good, because I have that guaranteed bleed when it comes up. Take, take 
take that thing. Uh, then I get some resolve back from occasional... Or actually, I think every time you win a fight, you get some resolve back, which is your arguing health. That's true in real life. Yes. Uh... Huh. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so destroy... You can expend cards, which takes them out of your deck for the rest of the fight, and then destroy cards that are straight up gone forever after you use them a single time. So you destroy after one use. Uh, let's take money, because that was a lot of money. Yeah. I would pay all the money I had not to get murdered by giant bugs. Yeah. I was hoping she would maybe join me for the rest of this mission, but... Oh well. Maybe she'll be back. Who oh, knows? It is it's entirely possible. I don't know. Did it? Let's see. So you got a notification kind of log here that you can go through. It looks like I didn't build a relationship with her, so she's probably just a random character and yeah. not a like permanent one in this run. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Metal metal. Hmm. Oh, what? Well, she's a two star. That's not going to be an easy fight. What do you think I would get out of this? She's probably going to. She might love me. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah, do you, how much? Yeah. That's sure. most. That's most of my money. But I, I'm just kind of curious. And you're going to make sixty back. That's true. I just. I hope this. <laughs> this is just gives me something valuable. Uh, those boons seem very useful based on that one that I got. Wait. She said, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, so I have to. I'm probably going to have to. Oh, wow, so I could reverse and. Okay. Alright, let's. Uh, Oh man, you should see her, dude. I <laughs> fucked her right up. Anyway, here's the money and don't ever go there. Oh, wow. Huh. Uh, oh, so I'd have to do another conversation fight to... Yeah. Huh. Oh, let's just pay it off and see what happens. Yeah. You got the shills. Yeah. To pay the bills. Quest bonus. I should... Oh, is that all I got? Hmm. <laughs> ah, bummer. Okay, well, I was hoping for a little more. Well, now that. maybe go back to... Yeah, maybe maybe I actually do need to go. I was thinking it would just... Okay, so that wasn't actually the end of the quest. Good. Seems like some a pretty kind of complicated sort of backstory or setting here. Like there's this kind of whole caste society. Yeah. Um, people, like I said, being. I like the talk of a cult that worships yeah, a jellyfish. Yeah, a lot of like a lot of uh, a lot of kind of setup. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Serrano loves me now, which means that. Oh. <laughs> they both have the stacks same Stacks on stacks. They have the same boon, okay. I hope they stack, I would assume so. Uh, that's cool, I mean, there are, you, you'll find markets where you can buy some, like, very good stuff from, from the little bit I've seen. Uh, okay, so this, I'm not sure if this comes up after, after every mission, but it seems to. You'll get these kind of random things going on, and you... From what I've seen, you typically pick one of these and the other one will disappear. It's okay. kind of a limited time thing. Um, and they've been, like I said, there are some pretty crazy decisions in this. Like, they've been as, as extreme as like, hey, one of the people who loves you is in serious trouble. Like, you <sighs> should help them out now or they might not live. Oh, fuck. So then it's like, oh, do I want to heal myself or do I want to go save this person who I'm getting a good boon from? Uh, shrapnel grenade or... Yeah, let's go. I've got a decent amount of health. Let's go. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, always save the dog. Awoo. Why would I ignore... Oh, okay, well. Huh. 
untrained pets. Wow, is there a whole freaking pet system in this game? They help you in combat, but are disadvantaged in negotiation. Okay, I can see that. Uh, so does that imply that there is a pet system and also a training system? Uh, you got Yoat. I guess so. What up, Yoat? Hmm. Oh, I think like the writing is pretty good. I yeah. Think. Um, mulch. What's up, mulch? Oh wait, is mulch per like? Do I have a permanent party member now? That's like kind of huge in combat. Oh wow. Okay, so this is the first one of these I've seen where I actually. Oh, oh no 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 no! Oh, actually, one went away. Yes, though. that already went away. That's crazy, huh? Uh, okay. Well. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll take that, even if it is single use. Will do. Yeah, I really like the like. So the spider was cool. I really like the systems in it, yeah. but I kind of dropped off of it just because there weren't enough hooks to keep me going yeah. other than the the main gameplay loop. But this seems more up my alley. This has way more. Like that game is pure mechanics. Like it's you know the the layout of like climbing the the pathways to the bosses are yeah. just super straightforward. This is much more kind of flexible. Like you've got so many more options to decide kind of how you want to proceed. Uh, That's a big reason uh, I almost got into Steam World Quest, but maybe uh, maybe I'll pick this up. Instead. Yeah, this seems cool. It's it's only fifteen bucks. Right. Um, is that just in early access? I don't know. I'm not sure if they've said if it'll go up or not. It looks like so. It has a, a Steam release date of 2020. Okay, so, so this it, will be out on Steam? It will come to Steam. I'm okay. guessing that means like once it's out of early access, it'll maybe also be on Steam. Also, like this has to come to Switch, like surely. Oh, <laughs> not for to, sure. Not to get ahead of ourselves, but this seems like a natural fit. Yeah. Uh, which like I would, I would very much hope that they'd put, the, put that on there. Uh, okay, well, great. I just picked up a combat ally now that I have two negotiation quests. Um, just tell them to sit outside. Complete his transaction. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, let's check that out. Okay. Oh, can't buy anything right now. Shotokana. <laughs> Sokapo, Manashekapia, Seltekiaha, Supateta. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Attack a random argument. Uh, evoke. Play this card from your hand. What are smarts? Oh, that's that sounds pretty useful. Cool. Yeah. Vulnerability, huh? Yeah, the vulnerability is kind of rough, though. That's yeah. a pretty harsh trade-off. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's go for that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah. Okay. Admiralty is kind of like the, you know, the authoritarian faction, the military occupation. Okay. Uh. Dolcius <laughs> Papo. Okay. Oh, you can get in with the government. Uh, oh, yikes! I was gonna say I've got this, got this yote. <laughs> Could maybe jump into combat, but that looks bad. I'm not gonna. I don't think so. So, like, you can be as noble or dastardly as you want, basically. Like, yeah, you know, like my options are not just to prevent this guy from doing what he's doing. I can also actually join him and go do the dirt that he wants to do. Um, 
I had, a, I had a quest in my last run where so a lady wanted to shake, or not shake a guy down, she wanted to go collect on a debt from a dude who, when you got there, it turned, it turned out that she had sold him a graft, which are these like cybernetic enhancements. And he didn't have the money, so basically my only realistic option was to cut the graft out of the dude. <laughs> like, the only other option was to... Basically, I could have tried to convince her not to do that, Yeah. but I, she had a really high resolve, so it was going to be really hard to convince her, and she would have ended up not liking me Right. If I had done that, so I said, well, fuck, I can't really argue her out of this, so I have no choice but to literally just cut this guy open and take her property back. Yeah. Uh, and then that's the dude where the next mission, which was totally unrelated to that mission, when I was fighting a big enemy in that mission, he had a buff because the dude I cut up... Oh, had was been his... Sp like, the, the tooltip was like, Crake has been spreading rumors about you. And I was like, fuck, now this guy is harder to beat because I fucked up this guy in the last mission. Like, it's, it's cool. It's really impressive how many things feed into each other. Crake is spreading uh, rumors that you're spreading people's rib cages. Yeah. He didn't seem very happy, to be fair, when I cut his side open. Um, well, shit. Let's see what happens if we do this. I'm not yeah. thrilled about being an asshole about this, but I kind of want to see... Maybe I can play both sides or something? That always works out. Yeah, I'm sure nothing can go wrong here. Um, oh wait, okay, so these, it looks like these are two kind of conflicting outcomes or courses of action. Let's just Let's see what happens if I go back to Does that. Does talking to those other NPCs ever do anything? Uh, you mean like mechanically? Yeah. Not that I've seen. You like, won't like learn something yeah. that'll weaken their resolve or... Oh, hey. Oh. Uh, what? Man. There's a ton of shit in this game. Yeah. I mean, obviously I spent most... Well, I wonder how much... Shit. Uh, 45? Can I pay both of them off? Huh. Oh man, if I had 10 more! I think... I could hire both of these two. You, one guard, and the dog would... I think you're totally might right. Might be enough. I think you're totally right, but I'm gonna go for this uh, bug-eyed uh, bug yeah, person. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> this is cool as hell. Yeah, this is really... Super engaging. I didn't want to go. Uh, I didn't want to go turn on that dude anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is that going to be my ally in? Oh, this is a negotiation, not in combat. Shit. Oh. Well, whatever. We we paid the money, so let's give it a shot. Yeah. What happens if? Okay. What happens if you hover over beat up? Uh, where's that? Right under the other one. Wait, I'm sorry. Just the other option. Right here? Yeah. Okay. That, that, that's I was combat. wondering if the other guard was still going to jump Oh, well, in. if he would still. Yeah. Huh, that's, a, that's lame. I was. Maybe if you do look the other way, oh. they just won't. Yeah, so th that's probably one less fight. opponent, but he wouldn't actually he join wouldn't me. wouldn't help you. Yeah. yeah. I've never had an ally in negotiation before, so yeah. let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. Okay, so it looks like they applied they each applied a buff. Yeah, so Huh. Interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna get most of the Huh. I guess I'll get most of the money back that I spent. Let's see. Huh. Oh, that All seems right. good. Yeah. Oh wait no, that's for yeah, him. That's, yeah, that's okay. against, that's against me. Yeah. Uh, so okay, well. Except a planted evidence argument if one does not. Okay. Alright. Well, let's see. Damage is doubled. More bonus damage. Uh, what does dominance do again? Hostility cards. So these are both hostility cards. I wonder, if, does this... Let's we'll see what happens, okay? Let's just, even though that's a... The card's gone forever. Play this one. Oh, baby. Wow. Okay. You're slamming your hand on the table, <laughs> giving him the evil eye. Oh, man. Uh, spend two. Do I have two influence? I don't think I do. Wait, is that? Well, that's dominance. I don't think I have influence, do I? Let's see what happens. Eh, a little confused about that, but okay. Okay. 
I need evidence on you. Man. Target is dismissed. Oh, wow. So, how do I dismiss it? Hmm. No. Not for my discard pile. Okay, fast talk. What do these do again? One gives you dominance, one gives you influence. Yeah. I like that, so you can kind of, like I said, that, that play your way kind of yeah. thing of... So I can guarantee six damage with this. Uh, excuse me, you, oh no. I was gonna say you had lethal, but it's not. Oh, that'll be it then. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you something. And another thing. Okay. Okay. Um, wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> and a couple. Whatever. Let's go harass another guy. Shh. Uh, as far as you've seen, this map, that map is kind of the only one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Eh, I don't think I'm going to shake this guy down. And you mentioned the, that slaver uh, who captured you was kind of the first main boss. Yeah, like Do you have a sense of how many there no, are? They don't really give much of a sense of how that stuff goes. Uh, let me finish this quest off and then I'll pop back to the map and tell you what I know. Nice. This is pretty good. Oh, what's that bonus for? I'm not sure. Uh, eh. I don't know if all my money is worth two health. That seems... Yeah, I don't think so. Sorry, Orug. <laughs> like, you're cool, bud. Uh, okay, so... Okay, here we go. So I was gonna say that there is a day night, like a, a or there's a concept of days, like first day, second day. Okay. Like you can see it right here. So, yeah. So we're we're getting close to the end of day one. Uh, I can get a card from Rano. Oh yeah. So here we go. I mean, I'm gonna skip this one and see what happens. Last time, Sorry, Rux. I had one of these. Uh, do I? What is my relationship with Rux? I think that's a like, right? This Rux, that's Orug. That's Rux. Dude, I just met you, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's not my favorite. Uh, yeah, when I got this on my first run, obviously I went and saved my friend, but, you know. Well, sorry, Rux. Yeah. I, I got this cool, check out this cool ray I got. Bummer for you. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay, so this is the same thing that happened the first time when I hit night. Fish uh, ends up having some kind of unique stuff. Okay, yeah, this is this is all exactly the same as the first run. I'm guessing some of these kind of story beats are the same every time. Sure. Um, maybe we'll be different based on the other characters. Yeah, like I'm sure the characters and missions I get here are randomized, but yeah. the, this this framework of, hey, I've got two good missions, but whoever you don't pick is going to hate you, <laughs> is I'm guessing is yeah, something sure. that gets repeated. Uh, I mean, there, there's even when you die and start a new run, they, there's some flavor text that's kind of Groundhog Day-ish of like, you feel like you've been here before kind of stuff, so. Right, because you're playing the same character. Yeah, same character, same basic story. Uh, okay, so, oh man, I, I helped out Plaka the Swab last time and told Rake to get out. So these are the same characters. Huh, help getting a loan extension. Oh, this is the one where I had to cut the graft out of the dude. If you want to see that, or we can try this new mission. Let's go to the new one. Yeah, okay. Huh, I wonder if that's because I met her in that previous life. So true. <laughs> Oh, 
Love good goods. Sure. Weird night market? Oh, hell yeah, I'm in. Okay. Uh, whoa. So yeah, that, that map has been the same every time, but I mean, there's, it's just kind of a backdrop for icons. Right. And there seem to be a lot of these backgrounds and stuff, so there's a good amount of variety. Yikes. Yikes. Oh boy. Oh wait, what? I thought you said I couldn't fight my way through this. Well, she said, yeah, she said don't. Ah. Lame. Um, well, okay. Why did it say he had plus 10 resolve? I didn't read that. Uh, okay. Okay, he starts flustered for some reason. That's cool. Uh, so I could attack this and not take the damage, but it's only one damage, so whatever. Um, okay. All your cards deal maximum damage, so I could get a good chunk here. Oh no. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Wait. You would pay 10 to do some damage. Oh yeah, sure. Well, I mean... <laughs> Just buying him off. Um, that's good flavor. This, yeah. this game has some good flavor to totally. it. I like it. Totally. Uh, it makes me wonder if like this... Uh, the, 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 it's almost like I could see two people at Clay saying, no, we just need to do like a Slay the Spire kind of game, and another person saying, no, I want this like relationship building game. <laughs> sure. It's like, you know what, let's just... Uh, Why not both? Yeah. I super fucked up, I didn't notice that I still had a point. Um, Sorry, what are the inner buffs in that circle kind of floating around him? Uh, this one is... Okay, it's, what, is it's his like the next, next turn. action. And this one, I guess, is also his but next action. But they obscure it. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you can see what they are. Okay. Sometimes he'll have uh, like a buff out here that will right. obscure what they do and stuff like that. So so the outer things are stuff you can attack directly. Yeah, well, so this sometimes. one is just his kind of alignment. Yeah. Um, this one I could... Oh, so that just stays until I get rid of it? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah. So if I attack this... Uh, I'll get an extra card, but that's precious action points. I should probably get rid of this, or I could just try to whittle them down as fast as possible. Uh, this have... seems insanely hard to balance. Yeah, I like there's totally, so many systems like, totally. that work here. It's, it's kind of it's overwhelming just learning it. I can't even imagine designing all this stuff. Uh, well, we're getting them. Spires at the end of the turn. Let's. Hmm. Well, let's try it. Come on, six. <laughs> okay, two influence, two dominance. Let's just block some damage. I think we'll be fine. Hmm. Yikes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty rough. But... It'll be a kill, I think. Yeah, just give me, it gives me an incentive to just take him out, if possible. Uh, yikes. Huh. I mean, that f the first one... Uh, oh wait, what does it do? This one? Yeah. Like, if I... I, I don't think it's playable, is it? It does have an it's action cost. in your cost. hand, it yeah. costs... It has an action cost. But, like, why would you ever... If I, I guess you're paying the shills just to get rid of it. Just, oh. just, to, just to avoid the, the incurring the penalty. Okay. Unless I just 
throw caution to the wind and just try to beat him right now? Yeah, I think you can. Which is, I think, what I'm going to try to do. There you go. Okay. Let's hope this works out. Yeah. Although it kind of feels bad to have to pay that much money to win. <laughs> but that's like a cool archetype that I haven't seen before of opponent. Um... I already got one of those, but those are pretty good. I'm sure. Alright. I love a good night market. You're buying, right? Like, I just spent all my money getting you <laughs> off the hook. Seriously. <laughs> Look, I already have two buffs to discount. I'm not that's, too worried about spending that, at the market. That's true. Okay. Oh, Plock of the Swab doesn't like me. And I think Plock of the Swab is the graft dealer. Yep. <gasps> Damn it. I can't. Wow. Oof. What do these do? Wait, every turn? That's not every turn, right? That sounds way too good. I mean, it costs 300. 300, yes, you're right. Yes, those are actually very good buffs. Uh, I haven't seen this dude before. Hmm. <laughs> so you got your straight-up card vendors, which, you know, that, those, those discount buffs are... Pretty serious, actually. Oh, that recall card's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pricey, though. Yeah. So, what's yeah? You're the key. So, what's the copa? Cheap cards. <laughs> right click a card? So that'll let you see. So this is how you upgrade. I, we're probably not going to upgrade a card in this quick look, but right. uh, every time you upgrade a card, you get to pick one of the two paths. Oh, so you get to choose. Yes. I see. Yeah, it's not randomized. You That's get cool. To, you get to see what you're going to get, so. Can, are, are there multiple levels of upgrade? Uh, I don't know. I've never gotten a card past level two. Okay. I've done the first upgrade. Can you right click one of the ones to the right? No. Okay. Um, let's see. It's weird though, because like I don't know if I'm going to be doing more negotiating or combat, so I'm not sure what to right. dump the money into, you know. Well, shit, I should buy some stuff. We got the money. Uh, yeah. Arbs and fries. That's pretty good damage for 20 shills. That's also not bad. Also not bad. Well, I can't afford it. All right. Uh, so this is basically as far oh. as I got. I was, gonna, run. I was gonna say discard it. Why would you ever want to discard a card? But then I thought of that card that that guy gave you. Yeah, that would deal yes. damage. Yeah, to you. you end up with bad cards sometimes that you don't want. Treat your pet. Oh wow, you can shit. Oh shit! Before someone else lays claim to it. Special. So I think these are just kind of healing spots, maybe or something along those lines. Yeah, it looks like a resolve. But this is the unique. I, I want to see. Look, you've been nothing but a burden to me in yeah, all these seriously. negotiations, but... Time to start earning your keep, mulch. Uh, I don't think he even needs... No, he's got full health. Ten resolve would be nice, but... Oh, dude, yes. Oh, hell That's yeah. That's huge. That is... Yeah. Your dog comes and is like, I brought the receipts! <laughs> Hells have tea. Wow, that's a huge buff. Um, all right, let me pop over here. This is as far as I got last time, and this fight was insane. All right. And I lasted about 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, ooh. <laughs> It's good, it's good character animation. Yeah. Does this dialogue line up with how you remember it? Uh, 
let's see, what's this time? No, this is different. This this I like the, the the basic the gist of the exchange is the same. Sure. Like I ran into Cassio and she talked shit. And but I like that that there's different dialogue because you're gonna see this multiple times. Yeah, the actual the actual writing is different. Who's Bina? It's just one of the patrons, I guess. No, that's you. You're gonna fight. Wait, well, I think I'm fighting this dude. Well, hover over it. It says Bina opponent strength. Bina smuggler. It says convince Bina to help you. Right, but oh. it says Bina over the portrait. When it says... Well, yeah, I'm doing a conversation fight against her. I guess she would join me and then I would still have to fight this guy. Yeah. Is what's going on here. Uh, let's just go straight to the fight, I guess. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take her down with my shitty resolve. Uh, so this is the same fight I did before, and this guy just completely smoked me. Now I've got Mulch here, who's going to eat a bunch of damage, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Good God, man. These guys are weird. They don't have health. Uh, you just have to... Basically, they lose uh, a, a pip off of this thing every time you hit them, and then they blow up. So the actual damage you're doing doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, they blow up and hurt the enemy. Can I... Applied by, okay, so I can't tell him what to do. It looks like he's just gonna do stuff. Who's doing more damage to him? The other one. Yeah, man, that's rough. So if I just... Attack this thing three times. Dies and does damage to him. Nice. Uh, ouch. Oh, I hope those healing cards come up. I could really use those in this fight. Uh, hmm. Isn't faint similar to a heal? Uh, that's defense. That's like block, basically. Um, so that would block his damage. Right. These guys... Uh, I believe these guys can hit through defense, if I'm not mistaken. I believe... Yeah, piercing ignores piercing. defense. So, so, yeah. Better off just killing this guy, I guess. Seems like it takes a couple turns for those things to come back. Also, shit, having that extra damage with my dog is pretty good. All right, here we go. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. Hell yeah. Ending. Oh shit, I've got this thing. Oh, also. that's great too. Okay, Cripples. Wow. And this thing. Guy. Too exposed. I would cripple him for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, I guess I can heal either one of us. Oh, I don't know. I really don't want my dog to die. <laughs> Uh, you can always get another dog, you true. can't always get another you. That's true. I would like to actually try to make it through this fight. Okay, let's... What does Exposed do? Oh, nice. Cool. That's pretty good. Well, uh, well, there's only one enemy here. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Very nice. Might have a chance here. Holy crap. This is going way better than last time. He's still got... Okay. I like the music. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good, like, strategy, yes. I'm thinking, and it's not gonna, like, overwhelm me music. Totally. Reminds me of Into the Breach a little bit. Oh, man, I think we just do this. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so he's panicking. I... Okay, and that's gonna shut down. Hmm... So I can accept his surrender? Or I can just kill him. 
from what I've seen, if I if you execute, you get kind of a whole stack of rewards of like multiple cards to pick from and some money and all kinds of stuff. Might, like you're, you're you know you're in Fish's bar, Fish might get a little upset. If yeah, you know. like or also if if I let him surrender to me, he may hang around and become like a character who does stuff for me. Right. I kind of wanted to see what happens. Yeah. Oh wow, so I still got a good amount of stuff, even for taking the surrender. Oh, think about how much stuff you would have got if you murdered him. Yeah. Oh, that's... Wow. Very good. That's pretty good. <laughs> the three cost. Yeah, that's also kind of a big deal. Uh, played twice, that's also pretty good. <laughs> I like the art on that one. Yeah. Oh, wow, so I, okay, so you are going to get to see a card upgrade, so I, I filled the meter on this one. So I can, wow, increase, oh, wow. Uh, oh. Yeah. I don't, so I've seen a lot of these potential upgrades where it turns it into a destroy card, and I just don't see the value of upgrading it yeah, and getting if, to use Unless it. you're like right before a big boss yeah, or something. Yeah, I guess so, but, but, but otherwise, like, why would you want to upgrade a card and then immediately lose it? Yeah. So, okay. Get some resolve back. Oh wow, I get a... Okay. Nice. So maybe I... Well, these, these say boss battle. I was gonna say I wonder if I only get these because I let him surrender, but probably not. One action at sort of return. Oh, uh, I kind of like my dog. Is the purple one a, a uh, negotiation? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Start of your turn. Just the, that's not... That's not as good as these, but these both have pretty ugly penalties. Yeah. Three damage at the end of every turn is kind of <laughs> insane. It did shuck a rotten oyster. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this game is pretty damn cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. From what I've seen. Uh, I won't get us into another mission, but I... I just want to see what it does story-wise here. How, how long has this been in Early Access? Uh, it's only been out for a handful of weeks. Okay. Like maybe a month or less, I think. Um, I haven't really looked at the roadmap. There's a, uh, we'll pop back to the menu. It says some stuff there. We could eat a fish cake. <laughs> Huh. Oh, wow. Look at the discount. Yeah, that's great. Two love to discounts and a relationship with... Huh. It's only seven shills. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, no. Man. All right, let me just... Uh, let's just rest and I just want to see what happens. Your dreams are full of lumen-laced black water. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay. Nice. Cool. So I, I was curious what the end of a day would look like. Well, this is a nice summary of what happened. Huh. Okay. All right, so new day, new quests. It looks like uh, I don't know how. Oh wow, these look a little more maybe story oriented. Oh yeah, so this is like this looks like stuff that maybe would feed more directly into what you're doing. Yeah. For your kind of ultimate goal of taking down your, your bounty. Anyway, uh, this game seems super cool. I originally started playing it for this video just because I was like, ah, I like Slay the Spire, I'll check this out. But this has so much more going on than that. It, it has a it has hooks in it other than, like, do you like the game? Like, right. you can learn more about this cool world and yeah. develop these relationships. It's really cool. Uh, and then they've got this thing going on here where it's like, hey, I guess tomorrow there will be a new update coming out. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know if we can... So we're just gonna get a browser for. Oh, I know. I, I'm sure you can dig around. They even actually there's an experimental client you can opt into. Nice uh, on the store that has like more recent changes. Anyway, 
Uh, I, I don't know how long it'll be in early access. Like I said, it's only 15 bucks. I don't know about you, but I kind of shy away from keeping up with games in early access because it's a good way to burn out on them before they actually come out. Totally. But I will totally check back in on this when it's done. Yeah. Because this seems like it has a lot of potential. I am interested. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, 15 bucks on the Epic Store. Thanks, man. Thanks, Hesh. <laughs>